It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. That's right. Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. It looks like a weak point, too. Oh, man, she's like... Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Does that mean I gotta cut them off? <laughs> Operation! Is there water on the knee? Operation, cut the arms off! You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Uh-oh. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Does that mean Mark's gonna be trapped outside? Little help here, Lee? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm coming. I'm going. Look like you moved for a second, but that's just you moving the thing. Oh, we gotta queue it up. Okay. Alright. Holy fuck! Uh oh. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! What the? Get to the gate! Idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! You didn't deliver the goods! Now we're gonna take one too! Tired of getting one of you? Can't hide forever! Alright, alright. This is not good, viewers. Arrangement, you say? Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, shit, the fence. Oh man, I don't, I don't like this. I think the Baddies have an arrangement with the St. John Dairy folk. They're talking about like giving food and stuff, and it's like roadblock. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. Am I gonna get hurt? Am I? Is it gonna come back to life, or is it just is it just delaying the inevitable inevitable of us getting through? There's another guy that's just dead. Is this one alive? How many of those things did we push down? Two. I guess I guess these guys fried or something. Oh snap! It's alive. All right. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Cute. Do not bite. No bite. Oh my god! That. Oh man, it's coming after us. I I don't like this. This is kind of creepy. We're getting we're getting shot at. We're getting chased by a crawly guy. Oh man. Okay. Let's get out of here. You I don't like you guys. Stupid whatever they are. Bandits? Yeah, they call them bandits. Stupid bandits. Lee, what's wrong? 
Uh, like the fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now, we'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What man. kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. I agree with Kenny what on that. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Oh, that's sweet. I still don't trust you! Still don't trust you. I'm gonna explore the generators. I'm gonna explore. Ben keeps a fence electrified. And this? Okay, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. I gotta talk to everyone. I see Lily. I see Larry over there. I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, what's up, baby? What do you think about this place?" And she's probably gonna be like, "I don't trust him." I'm gonna be like, "I agree with you." I gotta check on the kids first. There's Duck. Oh, that's actually kind of touching. Duck and Kenny swinging. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you. Okay. I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Aw. I'm just going to be quiet and let this play out. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Get lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. 
Promise? I promise. All right, Claire. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. We gotta talk to Kenny and Duck. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Lily's been doing a good job of keeping the group together. You need to back off a bit. Whatever. Aw, I'm sorry, Kenny. I kind of agree with Did Lily, Duck though. Did Duck get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. They have a relationship. See, that makes me suspicious. Makes me very suspicious. They look happy. They do look happy. What we got? Hope Mark is okay in there. Let's see. I could open the fence. I don't want to open the fence. I want to talk to Lily. I want to talk to Lily and Larry. Tell her that I'm on her side. I agree. This place ain't safe. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. I don't want to go back to the Motor Inn Motel. I want to find a new place with food. I'm with Kenny on that one, but I agree. This place, something's up. I don't trust them. I really don't trust them. Let's go to the gazebo. I have no idea what's going to happen, though. We're about to find out. We're going to find out. It's going to be good. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. All right. Can I talk to uh, Larry? Nope. Lily? Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Better than an arrow to the knee. Oh! I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Uh... You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey. About your dad. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have asked her about her dad. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? 
Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Feel like that's a clue not to go snooping where you shouldn't, but I gotta snoop somewhere, right? Like this hay pile. Like feeding station for the cow. Okay, I guess that wasn't too nosy. What about? Was there something else over here? Something I'm not seeing. Okay, I guess I. Whoa, whoa! There is something. Cornfield. Take a look at that. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Which we're not, because I don't trust them. Oh, I wonder what's in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. That sounds fun. Like our first meeting with, with Kenny. Lots of hay. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for Meryl's, if that becomes a problem. Interesting, interesting. But they're probably going to use it for food. Alright, let's go talk to the St. John's. Try to act nice and then betray them later on when they before they betray us. I'm telling you, viewers, I'm suspicious. It's one of those too-good-to-be-true sort of situations, you know what I'm saying? The kind you find when... People are like, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? We're gonna do that in the next part, or I'm taking a break. I gotta go potty. BRB.